the first time you've encountered the Sunny Sessions or the Sunny Bank Trust, be sure to have a look at our website, sunnybanktrust.org, and you can catch up on the Sunny Sessions pages with uh, all the shows that we've uh, been doing over the last, what, over three years now? Three and a half years. That's quite a lot of uh, radio to listen to. I don't know how Shay many hours. Uh, but uh, Shay, have you listened to every single Sunday session show like, ever? Most most of them, Johnny. Most yeah. of them. Yeah. There you I, mean, go. I, do, I do catch up on them. Yes, absolutely. That's what you can it's do. the finest show on the radio. Thank, thank you, Shay. Thank you, Shay. I'll, I'll, send, I'll send that check to you later. Yeah, yeah well, you send it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but if you want to get in touch, then you can uh, email jonandrews at sunnybanktrust.org. That will come through to me here in the studio. Or you can, if you want, come and say hi on the Sunnybank Trust social media. Uh, on your favourite social media platform, just search for the Sunnybank Trust. Now, we've talked a lot about ticket offices uh, being closed, potentially, and the, the guards on trains. Uh, this is something that has been in the news a lot and the disability and learning disability community you know have really reacted to this i know there was a consultation and more than uh, more than half a million people responded to that uh, on plans to shut almost 870 ticket offices across the country and uh, sources are saying the scale of opposition to the plans have uh, defied expectations so you know they didn't expect this kind of response transport focus the watchdog is expected to ask for extra time to review responses to the consultation, but there's reports in the papers that ticket offices could be saved, uh, according to a report in the Times last week. So, you know, thumbs up to that one. Um, we talked about, you know, ticket offices closing, guards being removed from trains, and the impact that's going to have on the disability community, and how that's going to take away people's independence, people maybe not feeling they're able to independently travel on a train. So, uh, that, hopefully... So a glimmer of hope, uh, thanks to that uh, consultation. Half a million people responded, had their say, and uh, yeah, that has hopefully been listened to. But we'll, of course, uh, keep you up to date with that more as we get it. But that's good news, I think, isn't it, Shay? It is. Very good news, It yeah. certainly is, John. I'm really relieved about that. For everyone that's disabled, because yes. can't see or, or can't get by or out, help. Absolutely, uh, yes. The, independently using the train and uh, being able to get that help when they need it, it's... It's invaluable, you can't put price on it. So uh, there you go. Hopefully some good news there. Uh, but uh, we'll have to see what happens. But if you have anything to say about that, do get in touch with us here at the Sunny Bank Trust and we'll give you a mention on the show. Coming up after half past nine. How is it nearly half past nine already? The show goes so quickly, doesn't it? It goes so quickly. Yeah. Yeah. We've got Lydia's news with you. We'll be finding out the stories that have caught Lydia's eye. She'll be joining us just after 9.30 on the Sunny Sessions this evening. And uh, right now it's 27 minutes past nine, and this is Tina Turner. There you go. Right. Yeah. Special reopening Ooh. ticket office. Yeah. Good news. UK National yeah. Yeah. Railway Line video. UK 23 last year. That's the part that we're first week. Mm. And uh, please subscribe to the channel on Legends. <laughs> watch this video. My friend's Spike from Jim every Friday, at least 5 pm in Adelog. He gives up 50 hands, isn't it? I see a 5 pm, so he'll waste the chance of my friend. Wow, you name it. John, Flower well, Show every Sunday at 9 to 12 pm. Every Sunday, live. And this is my friend Shane every two weeks, every year. So he has a very show every Sunday. Well, every Monday afternoon, 2 to 3 pm. He does the last month of the calendar, 1500. I've um, so I've been saying for the years, so every two weeks, when Monday, so he'll show you the show. Please subscribe to the channel on Sunday, just my bad. Bye, everyone. <laughs>